Australian seafarers have warned the local shipping industry could soon go under unless the influx of foreign workers is halted. Hundreds of overseas contractors are working on the Australian coast under various visa schemes, despite close to 1,000 locals looking for work. Unions are calling on the government to protect the domestic workforce, but shipping companies say Australian workers are simply too expensive. From the first time Myra Leong worked on the water, she was hooked. Loved not being in office or cleaning or doing, well, not really crappy jobs, but just something exciting. The 23-year-old is partway through her training to work on ships as an integrated rating, but can't find anyone to take her on. It's also depressing as well because there's nothing to do and then you have to resort back to hospitality or something that you don't even enjoy. Out here on Darwin Harbour there are others in the same boat. I've had to, to leave the industry because it's, it's dying by the looks of it. There's, there's, no one can get work. An estimated 1,000 seafarers are unemployed, about one-sixth of the entire workforce. This is probably one of the most difficult times the industry has gone through in, in at least half a century, probably more. The lack of jobs has been blamed on falling commodity prices, but unions say that's only half the story. They say national shipping laws have allowed foreign ships and cheap ported labour to replace Australian jobs. So what we've got here is a, a foreign flag ship um, with a foreign crew bringing in um, cargo that's for the resource project. And um, what we're talking about is why can't Australians man these ships? Shipping Australia, which represents local and overseas companies, says foreign labour is often the only viable option. In some industries that's been absolutely uh, the only way they can survive without having to uh, resort to importing from overseas. Highly qualified workers are missing out too. Declan Rolfe is a ship's master who's been out of work since February. I've seen 43, 44 CVs now um, all over Australia. High level jobs like ships masters and engineers are listed on the government's skilled shortage list, meaning foreign workers can be hired under the 457 program. Close to 300 457 workers are currently employed in the industry. I pinch myself because I think I'm, it, I'm in a bad dream and this isn't happening and sadly it is. It's just terribly unfair. The 457 system requires employers to try the local job market before hiring overseas workers but experts say it's poorly policed. There is currently no proper mechanism, no robust mechanism for identifying a skill shortage and for ensuring um, that where a foreign worker is coming in that they're not taking the job away from a local worker. In March, a Senate committee recommended an overhaul of the 457 system to provide stronger protections for Australian workers. The federal government says it's waiting on advice from the Department of Education and Training before making any changes in relation to shipping jobs, while the opposition has called for an immediate review. Back on the water, Myra Leong is refusing to give up. I'm willing to fight and um, continue to have hope. A hope for smoother seas ahead. Danny Kiver, ABC News.